We're very fortunate to be living in a time where how we connect, interact and communicate with the world around us is constantly changing. And I was really eager to explore how we currently understand our digital realities and how might we speculate a future digital experience. At the beginning of the project, we articulated together what it feels like to be digital. We then got the students to analyze those insights and identify trends to creatively respond to working alongside industry practitioners who come from a background in innovation, digital design, digital interaction, and together speculate this future digital scenario. Digital space can mean a number of things and I think it's anything that involves a level of technology. So it doesn't necessarily mean that it has to be fully virtual. It could be something that's just somewhat augmented. I use it in my work as a way to enhance reality. We create immersive digital experiences for fashion and luxury brands. Sometimes we call it like interactive storytelling. The website we make, they don't look like usual websites and the interactions we are involving are not just like scrolling through something and reading a content, it's more about engaging the user with the content. What fascinated or interested me most was looking at how they currently engage with digital technology and how they experience it. I'm of a certain generation that has naturally had barriers to the use of digital technologies and platforms. It was kind of surprising to hear how integrated those technologies are in people's lives of, of the generation of students. As a group, we all felt like there was a sense of this loss of community, kind of feeling isolated when you interact with people online. We are creating this futuristic well-being experience with this speculative ring that use skin put technology which tracks your daily steps, your heart rate, but at the same time it helps you to reconnect with people around you. People who are living in the city they're very stressed. They're in very small spaces so it's very hard to escape and I think the physical things that are offered to escape aren't really accessible for everyone because not everyone has time or the money to go to spas and things like that. But one thing that is really popular throughout the digital age is gaming and being able to escape through the digital world and like have like a, another life. IS Studios is basically a software that allows the consumer to work within a virtual space. So without selling you something that's completely physical, we want to give you the option to extend your space and improve the way that you work. We made everything more fantastical and said so that they have like wonder and exploration, but the things that you can access in it are specific to you. So your IS studio would not be the same as someone else's IS studio because you're the one who's choosing it. I was looking into the idea that there's an alter ego online through our data, this representation of ourselves online. Our final outcome was this AI-powered app called Mind. Mind would import all your data from all the companies you subscribe to so that you could see all your data and then Mind would visualize it and then you could manage your data. And it would help you with things like if your friend's wedding was coming up, you needed to book flights and find an outfit to this wedding. The app would show you options for flights based on your schedule and your budget. It would show you an economy version or a business if you wanted to splurge because it's a friend's wedding. It would give you options for outfits. You could select one and then you could purchase it in-app as well. I think people right now are very concerned about data and the information they're giving out. But if they knew more about their own data, and the data that they generate, companies would feel obliged to make their services better. Then they would have to either pay us for our data, we could earn money from that, or then they would work harder to personalize an experience for us. Going into a research-informed unit like this, we don't know what we're going to uncover, but it's so fascinating to use the knowledge that the students currently hold and extend it through working with the industry practitioners. To see the students then present back with such confidence and articulation at the very end of the project just highlighted how successful this knowledge exchange was between industry and the student experience. Sense Worldwide was really keen to get involved with LCF because there's a lot of fresh 
talent that's coming through and those raw ideas and I think it was really testament to the tools and techniques that we're developing as a business that they can be valuable for everybody. Our whole mission is to democratise innovation. The industry people that came in, they were like out there, they're all doing such great things and they're like the innovative people that people write about and stuff. So I think it was really great for us to also kind of see them and see how they work and feel like, you know what, like if they can do it, like it's inspiring. It's been really interesting to hear from students who are in the thick of it right now, kind of getting access to those opinions that I wouldn't necessarily have any other way um, and kind of seeing what their responses are to their insights. Even though we can put our phones down, we're always online because we have profiles and people can still text us, message us. There's not really an easy way to disconnect from this. It's not something to fear anymore. We need to now figure out how to work within it and find opportunities that we can either improve it or remove from it, but just don't fear it. I think through this project, I feel more open to it. And I think reading more about it and like being surrounded by it and all my other like peers and stuff talking about ideas and how useful it can be rather than how gimmicky or how it can control you. Like, you know, like it's like anti-Black Mirror because Black Mirror turns you off and this kind of, this turned you on to like technology in the future.